In this video, we're going to talk about particle movement and speeding up or slowing down. So speeding up and slowing down is all about comparing the signs for velocity and acceleration. So if V of t and A of t are both positive or both negative, in other words, the signs are the same, then the particle speeds up. If V of t and A of t have different signs, either positive negative or negative positive, so different uh, signs, then the particle slows down. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. First thing we need to do is start with the derivative. Uh, S prime of t is V of t, which is 3t squared minus 6t. Set that equal to 0. We're going to solve by factoring. Take out a 3t. t minus 2 is 0. t is 0 and 2. Let's start with a sign test there. So I've got a sign test. I've got 0 and I've got 2, and this is going to be my velocity sign test, so I'm going to put a V of t up top. Um, if I choose a number between 0 and 2, let's say 1, and I plug in a 1, I get a positive times a negative is a negative. If I choose a 3 to the right side, I get a positive times a positive is a positive. So I've got my signs for velocity. Now I need my signs for acceleration. To get acceleration, I would need the second derivative of position, or the derivative of velocity, which is a of t. That's going to give me, if I come back up here, I get 6t minus 6 equal to 0. Solve, I get t is 1. So now I need to include 1 on my sign test. So there's my 1. And so I'm going to now need to look at what's going on between 0 and 1, between 1 and 2, and then after 2. So notice I have more intervals to look at. So let's pick something between 0 and 1, perhaps 0.5. If I come over here and I plug in a 0.5, I would get a negative value. If I choose something between 1 and 2, let's say 1.5, and I plug in a 1.5 here, I get a positive value. If I pick something to the right of 2, let's say 3, and I plug in again, I get a positive value. Well, so let's see what we see, shall we? So notice here, signs are the same. Here, signs are the same. But on this interval, signs are different. So remember what that means. We have speed up, slow down. So the particle speeds up over the interval from 0 to 1, because the signs were the same there. And then again, from 2 to infinity, uh, particle slows down over the interval from 1 to 2. And this makes sense because in order for the particle to stop at 2, the particle would have to slow down first. And then in order to get moving again, would have to speed up. Now again, AP is going to want us to justify that. So let's go ahead and justify that by saying uh, V of t and A of t are both uh, same sign. And here, V of t and A of t have different signs. Let's try one more. So given the position function, over what intervals is the particle speeding up or slowing down? So again, we start with the derivative, s prime of t is v of t is t squared minus 6t plus 8 equal to 0. 
solve by factoring. So we get a t minus 2 and a t minus 4. So time 2 and 4. Let's go ahead and set up our sign test for that. Uh, always include 0 in uh, to break up the positive negative. We have a 2 and we have a 4. So if we pick something in between 0 and 2, let's say 1, we plug in, we get a negative times a negative is a positive. Between 2 and 4, let's choose 3, we get a positive times a negative is a negative. After 4, let's say 5, we plug in, we get double positive. Velocity sign test is done, let's do our acceleration sign test. So in order to do acceleration, we need to do the second derivative of position, or the first derivative of velocity, which is a of t. And if we look here, we get uh, 2t minus 6 equal to 0. So t is 3. So let's include a 3 now on our graph. So there's our 3, which means we need to test the interval from 0 to 2, from 2 to 3, from 3 to 4, and after 4. So let's go ahead and plug in that 1 again. If we plug in a 1 to our acceleration function, we get a negative. Let's plug in a 2.5, let's say. If we plug in a 2.5 in here, we would still get a negative. If we plug in a 3.5, well, now we're going to get a positive. And then, of course, if we plug in a 5, we're going to get a positive. So let's take a look at our signs. So signs are different, slowing down. Signs are the same, speeding up. Signs are different, slowing down. Signs are same, speeding up. So we can say that the particle speeds up over the intervals from 2 to 3 and from 4 to infinity. Particle slows down over the interval 0 to 2 and also over the interval from 3 to 4. And again, we would need to justify that for AP. So we would say V of T and A of T have uh, the same signs. And then V of T and A of T have different signs. Please never assume that AP knows what you mean. Write it out. Use the words.